Hey folks, I'm HP together with Dr. Pink and today we talk about a easy classical song uh, with tapping. It looks much complicated than it is. If you like it, follow this tutorial. It's more or less a beginner's lesson for uh, tapping. It's gonna sound like this. But even the advanced players among you, uh, it's still a very nice song, so it's for everybody. and so on. So let's check it out. Uh, it's a composition of mine, a little bit adapted to the Ave Maria of Johann Sebastian Bach, so what I call the Ave Meyer, because it's similar, but not exactly the same. And it features uh, the touch technique, where, as you see, you play chords with the left hand and melody with the right hand, and this is a very easy song, but still, if you want to play nicely, uh, it's um, some kind of grace in the playing has to be needed and I'm going to show you how it's played now. The requirements for this technique is um, you can play it on any electric guitar. Even This even works even on acoustic guitar, so it's no problem. And it's played in the key of G. And um, basically these are our paged chords, what are played. So we first start with a G chord. This is the root note tapped in the, the fifth and the triad. They played just as an ostinato, like with uh, in the end is a one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four. So that's the whole figure goes over two bars in eights and the accent always moves. So one and two and three, four, one and two and three and four and one. And then you switch to to C with a G in the bass, so the G remains. This is the E, which is the triad of C and the root. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then we go to D with the F sharp in the bass. Is the F sharp? Is the D? And is the fifth? Is always the root triad and um, fifth, which makes a chord is played either in a root position, this is a second inversion with the fifth in the bass and the second in the first inversion with a triad in the bass. And then you just play this as an ostinato one. at the end I do this figure here. So 9, 7, 10. See? Then comes the second part, a little bit more, still the same figure, but now we do an additional melody line. You can do this either with my fingering or just with the index finger if this is more convenient for you. Uh, doesn't really matter because there is no need for stress with the fingering. You can do as you like. So here's the figure. So repeat the thing. You go from 9 to 12. And now you go to C, 10, 14, then 7. 10, 7. See? 
So then I just play these two parts one after each other. It goes like this. And if you want to play with grace, try to give this flowing feeling. Try to make the movement as legato as possible because you could even you could play legs. That sounds like nothing. Try to play legato like. the second part you slap on the open E string and then you tap in here on the ninth fret of the D string see see tap um, 9 12 and now you continue here in the seven so same figure then we go to a minor Five, five, seven, uh, ten. Oh, when I switch chords, I sometimes do this random movement. So, like from so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, and now with the th free thumb here, I make on four end or on the open string. And then I on open open string and then I change and that um, actually I do it the, the, most of the time. So again, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Yo, so now I'm gonna play the entire song through. Okay, one. Two, three, four. Second part is a little bit as in some addition which I forgot before. Um, as you also also saw, I do this open string trick uh, at each changement of the chords. Uh, see, opens with the free thumb here. That's a little bit tricky. Now uh, on the second part, as sorry, I forgot that before. <laughs> I didn't sleep so much recently this night. So tap. 10 and 9, 12, and then you have this movement here from 12 to 11. See, and you do this with index, uh, middle finger index, probably. You can also move with one finger, but I think it's more cool. I do like this. Then again, the trick with the thumb, open E string, then A man. Getting with ten, nine, ten. And now we do this melody. We go down ten, twelve, ten, nine, seven, nine. 
see and you can do this either just with the index finger if you're not trained with using the other things but if you can do this fingering see then that's the entire thing now so that's the basic track on uh, this classical thing you can also go even further by doing more melodies things like You can do any melody lines here with your right hand, but if you're uh, still a beginner, of course, you can just do the the simple version of it. Yeah, that was the um, easy version of this tapping song. It was one of my first tapping songs I did. Because it's pretty easy, because one of the main problems when you do this, this touch technique or this 10 finger tapping or melody with the right hand is your right hand is not used to, for these movements and doesn't have the strength for it. That's why the if you do first with the index finger, it's pretty easy because there you don't need re really need additional strength. But as soon as you start to do melody lines like this, you need to extra train your right hand and. Uh, Probably this is not for everybody, but uh, this really works for everybody and it's very nice and is an, a nice add to your normal playing style. So it's really worth to go through it and probably find some new melody ideas. You can just use the G major scale and this ostinato uh, bass with your left hand. Yo, Dr. Pink, you want to say something? That sounded like a goodbye, and that's what we say goodbye, guys. And don't forget, follow me on Instagram, Cruzy, or make a donation for the HP Crazy Academy, or if you want to get deeper into touch technique, you can book Dr. Pink in private for a private lesson. Yeah, I think that's it now. Or? Yo, so goodbye.